Hello, this is Mr. Wathi here, and today we'll be continuing on from last day's video, which is lab number two, the five LED sequence. Today we're going to learn how to use functions to organize our code. You might remember last day uh, we did some code that uh, made our five LEDs blank, go over left to right, right to left, outside, inside, and so on. And if you take a look at our code, it's super long. Um, it's hard to know what part of our code actually does what. So what we want to do, we want to be able to organize kind of each section kind of each of these six different things as a different function. Okay. So before we do that, what the heck is a function? Well, let me just delete all that and take a look at the sunglasses right here. We see that by default, Arduino has two functions. We have a setup function and a loop function. The setup, it runs through once the loop, it runs through forever until you pull the plug. So um, these are the two default. These are what every Arduino program will have. And what we can do is actually create our own functions. And we see right here in Blockly Arduino, we have a section here for functions and we can give them any name that we want. Um, so I'm actually gonna go and load back up the previous project I had. And so I can find out where I put it, robotics. And I suggest saving your work as you go along. There we go. Yeah, just on the left here, I don't think I talked about that, but on the left, there's a save project. You click on that and you have this link that you can load up at any time. Cool. So what I'm gonna do, I'll pull this off to the side. And what I wanna do is just group it into different sections, okay? Let's just first focus on this five blocks of code right here. What does that do? Well, digital two, three, four, five, six, all go to high. If I look at my circuit right here, we see that two, three, four, five, six, all go to high, that turns everything on. So I'll go to functions right now, pull one of these blocks right here and give it a name. Turn LEDs on or turn on or whatever works for you. And so now if I take a look at the code, I see I have this block of code here that I did not have before. And it says void turn uh, underscore LEDs underscore on. Uh, the reason why they have the underscores is because I use spaces in my name and in coding, um, you can't use spaces for different names in order to keep this all as one single name, they use the underscores. And so, okay, let's try this one more time. There we go. Um, and we see that inside this, we have those five lines of code that turn all the LEDs on. Cool. So what I want to do right now is do the same for turn them all off, right? So we say turn LEDs off. And so this way, and I'll just delete this delay block. Don't need that right now. And um, so we, we see right now that our code's getting going to be, it's a lot more organized. And if I want, I can right click on the pink section right here on the, on the function section and I can go collapse block. And that just organizes things a little easier. Okay, so I'm gonna make different functions for going for these six different things here. Sequence, I want a function that says left to right, right to left, outside, inside, inside, outside. So I'll give you a chance to do that right now. You can pause the video if you want and um, have that all complete. And so what I just did right here, I went through each of the six of these, the four remaining uh, that I didn't show you, and I made four different functions. So you can just double check whether or not you did that correctly. We have left or right. So I grabbed the blocks uh, that turned on to then six first. Six is on the left side here, working our way to two. And like I said, working our way to two. And then right to left, working from pin two all the way to pin six on the left side. And then we have outside, inside, which is pin two and six, and then three, five, and then four. And then finally, we have inside, outside, which turns on pin four, and it works our way to the outside. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, just to make things visually a little easier, I'm gonna right click and go collapse block. 
just like I did with the first couple other ones. Right click, collapse block, pop those up here. Right click, collapse that up. Just organize this thing. So this looks a lot cleaner. It's easier to see what the heck's going on. Um, so if I were to take this code right now and paste it into my program, what do you think would happen? Well, let's try it out and see. I always want you to be trying out, doing different things, trial and error. Yeah, we see nothing actually happens, even though we have all those six different functions. And the reason behind that, if we take a look at our code right here, you see we have uh, turn on, turn off, left to right, right to left, out, inside, outside, outside, inside. And finally we have our setup in our void in our void loop. So the setup, um, like I said, the first thing that the Arduino does, it goes, runs through the setup function, and then it runs through the loop and does the loop forever. And you notice how there's actually nothing in our loop. There's nothing that actually tells us to run these other functions that we created. So we must call those functions up either in the setup or in the loop. In our case, the loop makes the most sense. So let's do that. And what we do, we click on the function tab here on the left. And we see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six. The six different functions that we created are now available for us to use. So I want to start off maybe by blinking it a couple times. Let's go, uh, yeah, turn LEDs on, turn LEDs off. Again, I will need to have a delay in there um, just because my function itself does not have a delay. And I'm going to use my variable wait time and then i will go on and maybe i just want to it to go left to right maybe i want to go left to right a couple times why not well why not do it three times this is so exciting and then uh let's go uh yeah you know what? i think this is actually good good enough for me and let's try that out so if we take a look at our code we see now that within our loop section we have um, these different functions. We have the delay wait time in there. And we'll go to turn on, wait, turn off, wait, and then uh, left to right. And those, you know, see the two little brackets that's kind of signifying this is a, this is a function. And so what happens when it gets to, for example, when it gets to this, when it gets to the turn LEDs on block of code, it will jump all the way up. You know, I'm gonna copy this and paste this right into Tinkercad. This makes more sense. Um, when it gets to the turn LEDs on section, it's going to jump out of the loop section all the way to turn on. It'll run through this, and then it's going to jump back all the way to do it'll delay, and then it goes turn LEDs off. It'll jump to that section, go through this, and then run through the left to right. It'll go to left to right, run through this. It'll come back here and be like, oh, left to right again, and goes back and forth. So let's try this out. We should have one blink. Then left to right, and then left to right. And we see like, oh, this is kind of slow and boring. So why don't we speed things up? And we we have that wait time. We do that in our setup section. So why don't we change that to like, I don't know, 100 milliseconds. Things will speed up a little bit. Bam. Look at that. Pretty. OK, so now we can call up anything we want. We can do different combinations. and. We don't have all this, you know, this jumbled code that we had at the start. And say if uh, one one of the parts, one of the 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 functions or the things that we're trying to do was off, or you want to change it, you know exactly where to go. You can go to one of these, right click, explain block, and like, hey, I want to change the outside inside to do something a little different, and you can do that. Okay. So today's today's uh, tutorial here, we're just really really focusing on those functions, focusing on tighten up our code, making things more efficient. Uh, next video, we're going to be looking at using analog inputs and how we can use analog inputs and then maybe get to call up different uh, sections of um, different functions here. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure to save your work. Just hit that save button and know it just saves your downloads. Know where you put it. Give it a, give it a name that makes sense to you and uh, that way you can call it up later if you need it. All right. Cheers.